Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can add bank details to an invoice on Xero. Now this is very simple and easy to do. So make sure you watch right to the end so you too can understand how you can add bank details to your invoices. So let's get into it. To start with, you first want to be on the Xero dashboard like I'm on here. And at the top, you just want to go up to all these options and look for business, which we can find next to the dashboard. And then from here, we just want to go down a little bit until we see invoices, which we can find here. So go ahead and click on that. And then here's where we can actually create a new invoice. So we want to select this one, new invoice. And then it will take you to this page and you want to go into the top right corner, just under where our initials are. And we want to look for these three dots here. Now, when we get to this, we want to select invoice settings, which we can find down here. And this will open up a new tab. So as you can see, there's a standard invoice here. This is basically just a template, which is kind of pre-made for you. And here's where we can actually start to edit some things about it. And here's where we can actually add in our bank details. So to do that, you want to hover over options in the top right corner of the template. And then you want to go to the first option down, edit. Select that. And here we can start editing all the different things in our invoice. So in order to actually add in our bank details, you want to type in something down here. And we can just type out something like this. We can say electronic payment preferred. And then it will be different depending what country you're in. But in the UK, you need the account number and sort code in order to take payments. If I was running a UK business and I was sending out an invoice to a UK customer, I would send them out something like this. And they can then take that account number and sort code to actually pay the invoice. So obviously you can put whatever you want in there. So make sure you customize it to match exactly what you need. So after you've done that, you can go ahead and click save. And as you can see down here, it has actually been added into the terms and payment advice section of the template. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you successfully managed to add your bank details into an invoice in Xero. If you did, please comment down below to say this video helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.